You call that radio? No, we'll move on. This is more about me than it is about me. It's not all about me. I forgot. I forgot. It's not all about. It's not all about me. I would like to ask you about Ian Brown. Ian, oh, best story. It's a great story. It's the opposite story of the Damon story. Well, that's what I was going to do to then I got distracted by Regina Spector, but from Damon to Ian Brown. Yeah. Okay. So, first of all. Um, I was living in a, like a transient hotel in Los Angeles. I wasn't exactly transient because the boss of the hotel gave me the room because he said we're going to do a bunch of heavy-duty television advertising and he's going to give me lots of money. We never did, but I had this little room in the hotel and someone had given me like the Sounds of Manchester cassette right when it came out. It was actually called that and had in spiral carpets, stone roses, um, 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 happy Mondays and a few others. And I loved it because I played keyboards and I like organ and this music was like this danceable rock with this organ featured on everything and I just thought it was so damn cool. Okay, fast forward 10 years, I guess, I'm in New York and um, maybe more. And um, I get a call during a lunch break. I was working on my own music. I get a call during my lunch break. Some guy with a British accent asking if this was a recording studio. And I thought it was weird because I didn't know that our studio was even in the phone book. So this, it never happened that someone, I picked up the phone and it was someone w wanted to record. And he's, I said, yeah. He said, can I come over and record something real quick? I thought, man, I'm working on my own stuff right now, but you know, maybe I could use another $25, right? You know, that would help me with my cause for living in New York. So I said, uh, what do you want to do? He said, I just want to do some vocals. And I said, okay. And um, I gave him the address of the studio, and he said his name was Ian. And so I made a, I thought, I want to get him out of here quick. He's just doing one vocal. I imagine it'll be like an hour, and I'll get 25 bucks. So while he, while he was coming over, I made a little logic session that said Ian's song. And I sat at my computer, and I set up a really good microphone in the other room. And I just waited for him to come. But I also thought, man, he said he lived in the neighborhood. Maybe he's a drug addict. And he's coming to just steal my equipment. You know, I better keep. I better keep my eye open here. This East Village, and you know, it was unusual that someone was going to come that I didn't know or hadn't met. So he comes downstairs, and uh, Ian, this guy Ian, he's kind of a bit of a rocker, he had like a shag haircut and a nice leather jacket, and he had a really beautiful girl with a poncho, like a South American poncho on. And he said, hi, I'm Ian and this is Fabiola. And I said hello to both of them. And he walked through my little studio and it, all, it only had red lights or something. And he said, it's a bit like a massage parlor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, massage parlor, he said. I said, oh yeah, that's nice. Um, so uh, what do you want to do? I have a really good microphone out there. You want to sing on that? And he goes, oh no, I want an SM57, which is like, I thought, oh, this guy doesn't know much about music, you know, that's a really good microphone, this is like, the, in every band practice room in the, the whole world is this microphone. Well, that's it. That one now? Right? Yeah, that one. Yeah. This is a 58. Anyway, um, so he's standing behind me, and uh, I'm pressing record on Ian's song, and I'm wearing headphones because we're, he wants to be in the same room with me behind me and so I had to turn the speakers off so it wouldn't make feedback and I'm listening to him sing and I think oh he's got a really cool voice actually this Ian guy <laughs> and I thought wow like this is like that was 10 seconds I'm like this is a cool voice 20 seconds into the song I'm like I know this voice this is really familiar to me and I'm looking Ian's song this voice <laughs> Ian's song oh my god I'm recording Ian Brown from <laughs> Stone Roses so he sings his song like perfect one time through, it takes like five minutes for him to sing the whole song. And I turn around, are you Ian Brown from Stone Roses? He said, well, I am Ian Brown, but the Stone Roses broke up a few years ago. And I'm just doing this for 808 State. I'm going to go, and I said, Why did, how did you find out about us? He said, I was looking for the closest studio to my apartment because I have to go right now to JFK and fly over there and make this demo. And, but, and, he, and I said, he said, you're a very good engineer, by the way. Uh, how much do I owe you? I said, 25 bucks. <laughs> and he gave me a 50 and walked out. And so that, and I'm thinking, wow, that's so cool. <laughs>